Wake up money time. The market has reached some record lows. Certainly you've noticed a lot of investors counting on an upturn to cash in on some of those stocks. But has the market really bottomed out yet? Biz Radio financial analyst Al Coletta brought his crystal ball with him this morning to try to sort out some answers. Al, good morning to good you. Good morning. And you can't really predict, is this the bottom? You can, it's a guessing game. It's a right? guessing game. Yeah. Yes, but as we were, we have discussed in the past. Uh, you know, a lot of people look back to the uh, the big crash of the 1920s when the bottom dropped out, and and people rushed in and mm -hmm. said, "Hey, mm -hmm. stocks on sale." Mm -hmm. And is that what we're potentially seeing again? I think that's where we are right now. Uh, and as we were talking a little while ago, the uh, market uh, in 1932. Uh, showed signs of uh, recoveries, but in 33 it was one of the big disasters uh, as the market came down. We're at that point right now where we see the market uh, headed down again. And, you know, uh, I was uh, mentioning this point system on the Dow. Mm -hmm. um, we could find ourselves with a Dow in the 6,000s, uh, 6,500. But the worst thing that could ever happen to the Dow, the very worst, and it's it's not based on the prices of the stocks, is a 5,000 would mm -hmm. be the very bottom. That's the bottom of the Dow Jones Industrial. As we were talking, uh, each of the stocks that, that comprise the Dow, uh, they, have a, they have a point value. value. And mm -hmm. the 5,000 mark is... That's the floor. That's the floor. So we don't want to see that, certainly. No. So what sort of benchmarks, if an investor wants to get into this and they're thinking maybe this might be good, maybe might be bad, what do they look for? At the present time, uh, if you are just compelled to buy a stock, mm -hmm. uh, commodities are the areas that you should start looking at. Because in any recovery, and as the markets move up, the, the stable ones are going to be commodities, such as uh, steel, mm -hmm. copper, uh, anything lumber, anything that's going into the construction or into building or to the recovery because they will stabilize the economy and that's where the money will be made in the rise of the commodities. But you got to buy them now. It'll be too late to buy them in the recovery. Mm -hmm. They'll already be moving up because they'll be moving with inflation. Additionally, commodities will be a hedge against inflation because there'll be real prices for those goods. Mm -hmm. As we watch the, uh, the, the new administration in Washington uh, get about the work that, that is ahead of them, how much do they affect, real quickly, uh, the, the level of the stock market? Not at all right now. The stock market is an advanced look into the future. And as it's looking into the future, it has discounted all that has happened mm -hmm. already. So the third quarter of this year is already predicted by the stock market's prices today. So we probably are in that lowest period mm -hmm. or headed in that direction for the recovery period or some kind of turnaround in the third quarter. So mm -hmm. don't rush into the stock market right now, mm -hmm. but rush into doing some studying on yeah. some of the best stocks. And if you have have a portfolio, one of the questions is, should you stay with it? And the answer is, absolutely not. And we will leave it at that because no. everybody needs to get their own crystal no. ball and start doing some <laughs> studying as well. Al Coletta, as always. Mine's a little uh, shady right now.